Well, hello my friends, and welcome back to my channel. We're gonna do something a little bit different today. I have not filmed a plan with me in a really long time because I've been noticing that when I get home from work, I need to just like decompress, and I've really been just planning after I get home and kind of doing it throughout the week so I don't really forget anything. Um, so yeah, I just haven't done anything on camera, but I wanted to show you guys some of my uh, weeks for the last about month or so. Um, before I get started, if you're new to my channel, this is what I use. This is an Erin Condren Life Planner in the Lux cover. I know that um, I just filmed a video sharing the regular Life Planner. Where is it? It's over here. Hold on, let me show you. So this is the new coiled life planner. I will throw that video up in a card for y'all. And then um, I also, because I can't make up my mind, got a neutral binder as well. And I will also throw that up in a card for you guys if you're interested. But that's what's currently on the website. I'm not sure if they have Lux covers this year. I really haven't looked too hard at the website. Um, but anyway. This is what I have been using for 2019. So it's my on-the-go life planner, and I use the hourly layout. I've been a fan of the hourly layout ever since it came out, and I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever go to a different layout. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of share with you some of my layouts. This is probably going to be like a really short video. I don't know. Um, so anyway, this is April 1st through April 7th, and you know, just had a basic week, didn't really do much after work, clearly. Um, and then I think I put some of these on my Instagram. I'm not sure. My Instagram's down below if you guys want to check it out. And then we've got April 8th through April 14th. And yeah, I did a lot of like stuff for my brother <laughs> that week. I remember that or that weekend, I should say. Um, yeah. And then on April, what was it? April 1st. Yeah. These two days. April 1st and April 2nd, we had like a really bad snowstorm. So yay, good thing I can like work from home if possible. <laughs> All right, and then moving along, we have Monday, April 15 through Sunday, April 21st. And yeah, I didn't really do much. I had some training to deal with and I had a coworker's birthday on that Friday, so I stayed late to decorate and then, you know, went off and did things. Wasn't feeling so hot on the 20th, and so I slept. <laughs> so that's great. And then um, I planned on the 21st. And then this, I did nothing. This is how some of the weeks look, you guys. Like, I feel like it's important for people to know that are like on Instagram or YouTube or just any social media platform that like, your weeks, sometimes you just don't do them. You just don't do it because you just don't have time. Or, you know, I, I'm trying to get away from saying you just don't have time to you're just not making time for it. And that's like more truthful for me in my life than it is for anything else. And then the next one I'm gonna show you is a little aggressive. So here we go. <laughs> Um, this is my go wild week and there's a ton of different stickers. I did work Monday and Tuesday. My mom came in from Florida. She was here to watch the little Doyle dog while I was out. Plus she has her own home here and wanted to get that ready for her season. So anyways, I have a lot of different things on here. Um, there wasn't this many things to begin with because there was a few things I had to put in like I don't know, other other stuff I didn't really know about. Plus you get so much swag at Go Wild and I will leave my Go Wild um, playlist up in a card for you guys if you're interested in watching some of that. Um, but for all the things that are like kind of Go Wild related, I like to put those stickers on my Go Wild week. So this is my only like super, like kind of no white space planning a little bit. I mean, it is here cause I worked, but um, but yeah, so I don't know, it's just cute and fun and why not? And I still don't know the next year's location. I've had so many questions about that. I don't know, they didn't announce it this year. So I'm like chomping at the bit to know when it's going to be and where it's going to be. So where is usually the question that gets answered first and then when comes later. <laughs> but maybe they'll announce it all at once. I mean, who the heck knows? All right, and then so we have May 6th through the 12th, and this week sucked so bad. <laughs> so 
I got back from Go Wild on this Sunday, and then this Monday I took off because I just knew that I wanted to spend some time with my mom, and I had the day off, and just to kind of like unpack and do laundry and just get kind of my life back together. And then I went to work on Tuesday, which was awesome because it was our Taco Tuesday, so we did like a big potluck, which was really, really fun. And then Wednesday morning I woke up and I was like death. I was so incredibly sick. Turns out I had the flu and that just really sucked. Um, and then Thursday morning at 4 a.m. I had to take my mom to the airport, which was so much fun when I'm still sick. <laughs> and um, thankfully she was in the car with me to tell me where the heck to go because I was just like so not I don't know, alive. <laughs> so anyway, after that, I did stop into work because it from the airport back to my home, um, work was on the way. So I just did a couple of things like super early in the morning. I think it was there like 5.15 or something. Um, I just worked for like an hour. I had to just get some paperwork filled out and do all that good stuff. And then I went back home and I went to bed. Um, Oh, I actually went to the grocery store because I needed more cold medicine <laughs> and they're open 24 hours in my area. So that was, that was good. And then Friday I was still super, super sick. Um, yeah, it just, ugh, just sucked. Um, so anyway, and then, I mean, I did a little planning. I did some laundry. I organized my swag. And then I love this little quote. It says, pack the fuck up sprinkle tits today. It's not the day. <laughs> That's kind of how I felt like the entire week. And then I slept basically all day on Sunday, Mother's Day. I did call my mom and talk to her for a little bit. But um, yeah, just not great. And then this is actually this week. Um, so this is Monday, May 13 through Sunday, May 9. I'm right here. And um, yeah, so I did go to work on Monday and I think I pushed it a little too hard. So um, I did work a little bit on Tuesday and then I was working from home actually. And then I just emailed my boss and one of my coworkers on my team and I'm like, I need to go home or not go home but like go to sleep because I was already home so I worked from home a little bit and uh yeah basically slept all day and then I got my EC order that day which was great but I didn't really do anything with it um anyways so and then Wednesday was another sick day unfortunately I got a simply gilded delivery which was awesome and um I did uh, a little bit of organizing in my closet which was good but you know it's like it was the like all this sick time it's like takes so long to do like the most mundane things like taking a shower you know normally takes like five ten minutes not even and it's like you're in there for like 25 minutes because it's just like you're moving like a sloth like i'm moving so slow <laughs> but yeah so everything takes a lot longer anyway thursday i went to work it wasn't great but i went anyway and it was fine and then on friday went to work and that was good i went to trader joe's and cub i did a little face mask which was awesome um and then yesterday it was definitely a lazy day and then I love this it says if it requires pants it's not happening basically that's like my entire weekend this weekend got the laundry done I updated um, some stuff in PayPal and love this just go the fuck to sleep because I had to take a nap and then I planned a little bit last night I'm filming I need to edit a little bit and then I'm gonna do some meal prep for the next week and then I do have a little bit on this week so far, so I made this, st I didn't make this sticker, I should be more clear, but it was in one of those um, Aaron Condren books, and then I put the little, the time is now on there. I thought that was really cute. My coworker's still on vacation for these two days. And then y'all, Sunday, May 26 is the favorite mama's birthday. So she is turning 70, and um, I won't see her, unfortunately, um, but then I will see her the following week because her and my dad are gonna be driving from Florida to Minnesota next the, the next week after this. So yeah, I'll give her a call. I know she's got a couple of things going on that day, but um, yeah, the favorite mom is gonna be the big 7-0. But anyway, that is my week, I or my weeks. I wanted to just kind of share this with you guys. I know I haven't been really good about like, taking pictures and stuff like that, which I totally should be, but I'm not. Um, I think I need to just, I don't know, share some photos of this stuff. 
I don't think I have. So I think I think it's time to share some pics of this on the internet um, and tag who I can remember. Um, I will leave a link, or not like not a link, but several links down below as to some of the sticker and washi shops that I have been using and loving in the previous spreads that I just showed you. So I hope you guys go and check out some of those links. Also, there is a link down below. Actually, there's two links down below um, for the Erin Condren website. If you have never purchased from Erin Condren before, there is a link down below for you um, that says first timers uh, get $10 off. You can use that link to sign up to create your own profile, then erincondren.com will end up sending you a couple of different emails. One of the emails will actually be for $10 off of your uh, first purchase. And you don't have to purchase a planner, you can purchase anything from there. But the awesome thing is you get $10 off and then when your item ships, I get $10 credit so I can bring giveaways and hauls and things like that for you guys on my channel, so that really helps me out. There's also another Erin Condren link down below too, which is an affiliate link. It does not not increase your price at all. What it does is it just tells erincondren.com that I sent you there and my specific like tracking number somehow magically through the interwebs is counted and I receive a small commission. So that really helps out my channel if you guys use that. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments or anything like that, put them down in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to